toys was sort of the last piece of the puzzle for me. Um, it started off as more of an interest in art and design. Um, and in school, I, I did a lot of sculpture and woodworking. And then I got into screen printing just from being in bands and making, you know, album covers or t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, so toys sort of was almost just by chance because I started having kids and making toys for the kids that were around me. Between like a, a toy that I would want my kids to play with or not play with is a toy that will engage them as opposed to just entertaining them. It's all completely interactive, so they can't, if they're not engaged with it, then it's not gonna do anything. So it's really about them exploring like the material and the content of like the prints or different things. And then they can sort of explore the themes um, and work on vocabulary and different things depending on the product. Most products we either already have parts made for us and then we print on them and assemble them. Um, and then the rest of the products we make 100% in-house and we use a variety of different tools for that. So our shop setup is sort of divided between woodworking and screen printing. It's a very manual process. Obviously the assembly is all hand done, a lot of hand sanding, but it gives us control so we can kind of be with the piece from start to finish and really put out a quality product. You know, my kind of favorite part is prototyping and just sort of getting here and tinkering a little bit and then designing the stuff and kind of putting it together and seeing what we come up with, you know. It's not very structured. I won't really be looking for an idea and an idea will come and then sort of nurture it and talk to people about it and see if it seems cool. It's it's challenging. I mean, I guess it's just probably like any, any other work where it's just you kind of just keep doing it and working at it and just keep designing and you turn out, I mean at least I turn out a lot of crap and then you know some of the stuff ends up being decent and then uh, some of it ends up being good and we'll make it, you know. My name is Eric Siegel, this is Treehopper Toys, um, this is the shop that we've been in for a couple years and we are endlessly tinkering, making sand, no we're not making sand, we're making sawdust. <laughs> Sanding. Daly, why don't you do it? Just say that you're me. <laughs> All right, yeah, Eric Siegel. Eric Siegel. <laughs>